Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome to a new series which is uh, Frostpunk. Um, so I thought I'd uh, play one of the scenarios in, in this game. Um, I've already done a new home before, so on the uh, Twitch thing. So I'm going to do the arcs for a change. I've not done this one before, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's find out. As the brightest minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we have been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedling arcs safe? Right, let's give this a go. I don't even know what survivor mode does actually. Um, but let's give it a go. See what happens. Loading. Loading. There we go. The seedling arcs. We've been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure. The seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world. They have been deposited in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing. But it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends. However long that may be. The only way to do this is with automatons. Or oh, awesome. Um, well, actually, automations, actually. Automatons? Automations. Automatons. Hmm. We'll ensure the green earth is reborn, even if we aren't there to witness it. Let's get to work. Right, factory plans. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We were supposed to de deploy automatons. I'm going to say automate. Automatons, that's, what it, that's how it's spelt. Uh, to make sure the city can run itself no matter the weather. But the transport carrying the factory plans was lost in the blizzard. <gasps> We need to build a beacon and send a team to search for it. Okay. So we've got a thing already. What's this? Preserve the seedlings. Uh, all the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold. If the temperature in the seedling arc falls below chilly for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. Righto. So that's seedling arc. That's the seedling arc. That's one. And that's one. So we've got to look after these while trying to build this up. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Construction. Right. Let's build a street. And we'll just go around to there. Just keep it going around. Like that. Lovely. So we've got 45 homeless. So first thing to do, let's wax some tents down over here. Whoa. I've run out of wood. Okay, we'll send some people to do some wood collecting. Uh, I don't want to do too many. I think at first coal is very important. We need plenty of coal and we need food. They're the resources that um, are really crucial. Coal to power the generator so the things don't freeze. And food so everyone doesn't die of hunger. So at the minute, finding factory plans means research and build the beacon, find the factory plans. By the way, this is probably going to go horribly, horribly bad. Um, can we do this yet? No, not yet. It's a very challenging game, to say the least. Actually, these are not doing anything, are they? Let's put the... Automations, or automatons, whatever. And some coal. Has that worked? 
Yes. Why is it not moving? I don't know. Right, we can put another ten ten. Couple of tents. Yeah, because zoom reasonably far in, see everyone walking by. What is that automation doing? For some reason it seems to be stuck there up and it's supposed to be out here. I don't know why. It just is. So the generator is off. So we will have to switch that on at some point soon. I'm just trying to build up a bit of coal while I can. Uh, wood at 12. So what else can we build? I really want to do a workshop soon. Cookhouse is needed, but we also need um, a hunter's hut, really. Let me see if I can put more people on wood collecting for now. There we go. Everyone's working. How much coal do we have here, does it say? 420. Okay. This is uh, definitely a different shape map because the first map is more purely circular, but this is going to be more interesting to build in, I think. Two more tents should give us enough to remove, uh, get rid of homelessness. Finish your labor, the work day is up. Yes, I know about camera controls and stuff. Do I have enough for a workshop? Yes. Let's build that. We'll speed up time a bit. Oh. The heating's off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Okay, let's turn it on. Uh, on. There we go. See the snow and ice melting. So this is pumping out some heat. Lovely. So they're still building these tents um, and this tech factory. We need a lot more wood before we can do much else. As it's free time, no one's working at the minute. No one will till morning. So I'm going to speed the time up a bit more. No employees available. Ah. Yeah, there's no workers. Well, ready for thing in. We want a Where is Hunter's Hot? Is there no Hunter's Hot? It used to be. Interesting. 
So it would be beacon, um, but I need to employ some engineers. Problem is that is, we don't have any engineers. Right, how, how do we get some engineers then? Uh, this is going to be interesting. Interesting to say the least. Oh, hang on, no, there's engineers there. There we go. Research goal not set. Yes, it was. Beacon. Not enough wood. There we go. So it's now morning. Everyone's going back to work. We should have some wood coming in. As you can see. Lovely. Turn wood required. Let's build that. Then what else we'll do? We will also make a cookhouse. Uh, what else do we need? Medical post. We'll put that in the inner ring. It's nice and warm. Okay, new research. Let's go for... Faster gathering. I think that'd be useful to get coal, steel and wood faster. Very useful. So the old automation things are doing really well it's constantly up in my goal so that's a good thing no one's unemployed that's also good and let's speed it back up again so we need some engineers at the medical post so I might just take one off and put one on now. Uh, what does this need? Workers or engineers uh, should produce four food rations from two raw food. Problem is, we've got no raw food. We have got raw food. Okay then. Let me take off five. One, two, three, four, five. Whack them on there. Okay. We need a beacon. Uh, we can need some steel for that as well, aren't we? Okay, we'll take a few more workers off and we'll put it on some steel. Oh, we're almost running out of coal here. So how's this doing? Uh, we did build, we did research the beacons. Why is it? We need 35 steel. That's why. But it's in free time mode at the minute. Coal pile de depleted. Get back to work. I've got plenty at the minute, so what I might do is put the automation on that. I don't know why it's stuck there. It used to walk about. It did on the first map anyway. As you can see, on day four, the temperature is going to drop by one level. Wood crates depleted. So I'll just put some more on some more wood. V 
be hungry zero star oh dear and some sick as well why is that not working why is all food ah oh we've got food so let's let's close that for now because we don't have any raw food coming in so I might as well keep that closed and some more people back on get some steel because we need this beacon up and running Still, my coal is still going up, and I don't know where from. Okay, we've got the 38, so that should be enough to build the beacon. Right, I think, for, as far as I'm concerned, the beacon could be quite far out, it really doesn't matter doesn't need to be anywhere close by so let's whack it over oh there and then we'll put in a path build street there we go there we go lovely so people get to work building that right now do it. Okay, big and built. We are no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Frostland. Awesome. Right, there's a really bad weather. Uh, abandoned supplies. We can send scouts to here, but we need to actually... Recruit some scouts. So for that we need five engineers and 40 wood. There we go. Right. Send to supplies. So they'll go off on one. Have a bit of a fun time out there in the wilderness. Storm on the horizon. Captain, with the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. It's still some distance away, but we'd like to keep an eye on it. And make sure that we set up the infrastructure needed to heat the arcs before it hits. I see. Okay. I need new research. Now, unless I'm missing it, there definitely used to be a hunter's hut. Maybe that's not in this scenario. And you literally have to find raw meat that's crazy right so I would say then the next things to do would be coal is very important so we'll go for coal let's max some workers get everyone working food rations for about three days it says so as you can see over there on the right it's going to take them 11 hours to go and see what these resources are And then we can decide whether to bring them back with the resources or risk carrying on. Um, bring them back is safer because you get the resources, but also it takes longer. Right, we're about to hit a temperature drop. Is 
that even in extracting steel? Brace yourselves. Hold is coming. I'm not sure it is. Oh, minus 30. So we've got medical post. We've got a cookhouse. Resource depot uh, extends our storage capacity for chosen resource. Um, and we can put a gathering post if we want. And tech, we've built both of those. I don't think that automaton is actually doing that. Okay, we'll try sending it somewhere else then. Let's send it up to this ward, see if it goes down. It just seems to be stuck in one place. to refuel yeah because they refuel off the uh, steam generator but yeah it all seems all right that's weird so we'll just keep the time spinning on it just for some reason it just seems stuck I don't know why. That's not good. Right, new research. Sawmill, let's go. Is it stuck on those buildings? Tell you what, let's build a few more tents and we can destroy those ones. people are gravely sick so we'll take a couple more engineers off and we'll put them on the medical post two people are sick aha scouts have reached the abandoned supplies okay our supplies are covered in snow and ice they seem to be undamaged but we'll have to dig them out to be sure so it might provide steel and it might provide steam cores let's search the area we spent hours, hours, hacking at the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them once. Doing it again would be unforgivable. Right, so sites discovered broken autom automation, automaton, mountainside cave. So we've got 31 seal and one steam core. I'm tempted to bring them back back and I think I will because steam calls are very um, handy to have well, at least they were in the first cam uh, campaign so we'll see okay so resources coal thumper So that's got to go on coal, which is there. Yeah, I think that's the only one, isn't it? It looks like it. In a few days, the temperature will drop. Our seedling arts will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs. I see. 
Oh dear. I need to get some steam pumps. ASAP. Can I change the bot? Uh, can I put... Oh, can I put heaters in there? I'm not sure. No. I don't think I can. Steam hub, start. There we go. I think that's going to be more important. Right, they've returned with one steel and one steam core. Yes, to build the... Um... um steam hub. I need steam cores. Scouts. We can get to Mantiside Cave, or we can go to the Broken Automaton. 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 I'm just going to keep saying it wrong. It's fine. I think we should go there. Caves mm, can harbor bad things, could also harbor good things. Um. Although it could reveal people, and we could do with people. All that, yeah. Let's go to the cave, and then we can always go to the automation after that. Let's keep calling them automatons. <laughs> okay, so this is un unoperative. Um, probably due to being bloody cold. But we can put one of those on there. That's cool. Yeah, it's just picked nothing. Stupid thing stuck, isn't it? Let me try and dismantle that and see if we can let it free. Although it's still stuck on going to refuel. It's just stuck. It's, it's just stuck. Stuck on going to refuel. Oh joy. That's just gonna make it more difficult, isn't it? Oh well. Why hasn't that been researched at all? Oh, it's going now, so it must have been stuck on a building. It's now plugging that building and producing loads of cold. Cold. Coal. Oh dear, more heads. Right. Heck. Steam hub. When powered by the generator, these contraptions can create additional smaller heat zones around them. Right. So we're going to want one there. Uh, we're going to want one there and one there. That should protect that oh, there's, hang on, there's one there as well, isn't there? Urgh, need more. And no, we don't have enough steel. More steel, please. Still moving. I'll tell you what we could do. More research. I think I'll go for probably heaters. Let's go for heaters for now. For heaters. Very nice. Down your tools. 
No, don't put down your tools. It's a life and death situation going on here. Honestly, people. Right, scouts have reached it. They could find raw food and they could find wood. This cave could collapse at any moment. It's no wonder it hasn't been turned into a permanent shelter. We'll take what we can and leave before we're trapped in here. Or worse. So, 36 raw food, 163 wood. I'm going to risk it and go to the automaton. Automaton. Awesome. It's automaton, isn't it? Uh, there won't be one of my videos without me failing at something. That's usually what happens. Right, well, why are you not... Oh, storage limit. Uh, okay, yes. Storage. Storage. Um... Storage capacity. Build that, please, people. They build stuff during the free time. We survived another night. That has to count for something. Brace yourselves. Old is coming. Oh dear. Captain, the temperature is one of the seedling arts has dropped too low. If we do nothing, its precious contents will be lost. We mustn't let that happen. Right, okay. That's just because that one hasn't... I haven't got enough. Hmm. Steel. I need steel. Uh, like, now. That's still storage limit reached. What? But it's not reached. Right, okay, for now. You can go off. Go on. And get that, uh, steel. I don't know why it's saying storage capacity reached. Storage limit reached? How? How? Six steel. How many do we need for the steam hub? Twenty. So I've got to get twenty steel before that freezes to death. All the others are doing fine. Of course, we've also not got much coal left on that either. So it's all going to go horribly, horribly wrong very soon. That's for certain. Right, coal max. Get on Max, get on that, get on that. Uh, and then we'll get some on that as well. We need coal big time. It's annoying me why that isn't working. Oh, it needs people to collect it. Um, gathering post. That's what I need. Take some workers off that to go build that. 
Come on, steal. Oh, damn, that's cost me some steel, hasn't it? Nightmare. Right, heaters have researched. I'm not going to do anything for now. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. Oh, the work day is up. Lovely. Right. I've put six people into there. That'll clear that wood. Uh, coal, sorry. Scouts, uh, only the top of the automaton is sticking out of the snow. Digging it out will take some effort, but it should be worth it. The automaton was left where it broke down. Thankfully, we managed to dig it out and fix it. We can now send this fully operational automaton to the city. So it's discovered lost dreadnought and industrial ruins. Send it to the city. Uh, and in fact, we will also go back to the city with the resources we've got. Okay, steam hub, we can do it, we can do it. Build that. it built come on you can do it awesome there we go that shouldn't be freezing it does have heaters that should be being heated now I'll tell you what, we'll put the heater on just for a little bit. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there for today and uh, see how far we can get in the uh, next week or something. So thanks for watching everyone and I will catch you next time.